Be Happy or I'll Scream by Sherry Lynch. I am a nationally syndicated radio personality based in Charlotte and an author and a single mom of two really wonderfully crazy kids. The word mom is so potent that it's practically nuclear. What is a mom but the most selfless, loving, devoted, patient, clever, wonderful, amazing, tireless creature alive? And unlike some other very important jobs that may come with more impressive and intimidating titles, for instance, genetic biodiversity ethics research fellow, pretty much everyone knows what the heck it is that a mom does all day, and that makes everyone a critic. Announce that you intend to be a terrific baker, and basically as long as nothing burns and everything winds up frosted, you're okay. And even if something does go horribly wrong, it's just dough, and it's unlikely they'll cart you off to jail for it. Plus, since even the surliest croissant can't rat you out for screwing her up, you have a fighting chance of at least being able to hide your mistakes. But you dare to make one wrong move in a Kmart checkout line, and you risk revealing to the whole world what an unfit, belligerent, miserable troll hag of a mother you really are. It's brutally unfair, isn't it? It's not entirely our fault that we've been brainwashed by a lifetime's worth of laundry detergent commercials, TV shows, and hypnotic magazine articles with titles like Easy Meals in Minutes and Five Minutes to a Fabulous Face and Rainy Day Fun for Frazzled Tots into trying to be robotic superwomen. No one actually succeeds at this loopy task because one, we're human and fallible, and two, even a high-end European appliance can't take the wear and tear the average superwoman gets. The system is diabolically designed to defeat you no matter what you do. You try, you fail, you feel guilty. But if you don't try at all, because honestly, all of that superwoman multitasking looks absolutely exhausting, then you feel guilty for being too lazy or selfish to bother. It's a big circle of insanity, and if you let it, it'll take over your reality. Everyone you know will only be too happy to let you, the madwoman, rush about dealing with all the remembering, scheduling, plotting, finding, fixing, buying, cleaning, transporting, and outright coping that needs to be done in order for everyone else's life to run smoothly. They figure, well, if she's crazy enough to take it on, let her have it. After all, she's going to be a terrific mom today. And that's why we drink. <laughs>